the baby what like a little happened? Caesar's pizza. That came out of nowhere right before the season's about to start. My understanding is that he had been thinking about retirement at the end of last season and then just sort of was like, got re-energized with some recruiting stuff. It was just like, all right, let's just keep. And over the, as the off season kept moving along, as Tony said this morning, he recently went on a vacation with his wife and he just realized like, I would rather, I'm not looking forward to getting back to work. How old is he? 55. Wow. It's very much, and I was talking to Woj yesterday, it's very much like what Woj did, just in a different profession. The, the, the simplest explanation for why did Woj walk away from ESPN is he decided I've made enough money where my family can live comfortably and this is not the way I want to spend my days anymore. I don't want to be looking at this phone all day. I don't want to be talking to these people all the time. I don't want to have to get up from dinners, stop movies. I don't want to do this job anymore, so I'm done. Tony Bennett just did the same thing. It's just a different profession. The job that he's been doing is no longer the job. The job that he got into this profession to do is no longer the job. Tony would enroll high school players, uh, redshirt them, develop them, keep them on the bench for two years before mm -hmm. you even see them. And simply put, he now understands that you cannot run a basketball program that way anymore. I didn't know anybody that played at Virginia before they played at Virginia. Like I, you know, oh, yeah. I'm saying in the way that we know the like we were we were tossing around our group text this morning. Ace Bailey highlights. Right. I've known about Ace Bailey for three years. Right. Now he's playing at Rutgers. I didn't know DeAndre Hunter and Ty Jerome no. and Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm, Malcolm, yeah. Malcolom Malcolom yeah. CJ Malcolom Moore, Brogdon who works for the Athletic, did a project maybe a year ago, a couple years ago about coaches who take – who who are the coaches that put the most non-five stars in the NBA? And, like, Tony was either first or second or third right sure. there. John Beeline used to be great at that as well, yep. taking three-star guys, non-top 100 guys, and, and next thing you know, they're first-round picks. Um, so that's the way Tony ran that program and built that program, and it's just not a sustainable model anymore. And so I, I sort of appreciated, appreciated how candid he was this morning. He didn't try to say, well, it's just time and what. He did say those things, but he made it clear. I don't like the job anymore. What it, what the, the things you have to do now to be successful in college basketball at this level are not things I'd want to do. And that's really what Jay Wright said, too. It's, it's all the same thing. I'd have to go back and ask him. I am almost positive I remember this correctly. Jason Levy ended them when, it, when before they hired Fisdale, yes, he was one of the calls. Oh, yeah. I, Tony it, Bennett was one of the calls, right? Uh, oh, I Because he was like a young, up-and-coming. Like, I think Bennett was. I think he, and, and, and Jay Stevens, Wright. And Jay Brad Wright as well. J Tony is not the type who will walk around living with regrets. He's just more mature than that. But I bet you on some level he wishes he would have gone to the NBA when he was popping. And everybody, not everybody wanted him, but he could have taken an NBA job five years ago. Forget this whole, I, you know, I don't really want to do this anymore. It's... To me, isn't the story to you, I, I don't want to do what this is now yeah. Yeah. anymore. That's right? right. Like, if I still had, if, 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 if college basketball was the same as it was four years ago, I'd be happy to keep being the basketball 100%. coach. That is, I don't want to do this job. That's true. Like, think about it in these And terms. you do wonder, are we ever going to be, I mean, I guess Izzo and Few are kind of it, right? We've lost every one of the others. Well, I mean, oh, P I guess Patino, Scott Drew. Scott Drew. Um, like, Bill, is Bill Self still doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm wrong. Okay, they're, they're, you're right. But, but here, it seems like a lot, though. Rick think Barnes about, is still around. Think about it in these terms. Yeah, think about it in so. these terms. I think we all enjoy what we're doing. Like, I have a good time yeah. being here. I like being here. Um, if, I, if I won Powerball this weekend, I would be here on Monday. And I would be here the next Monday and the next right. Monday. I, I enjoy what I'm doing. But imagine you had a job, you, did, you hated it every day. You right. got up every day and you're like, I can't believe this is what I have to do today. Well, Tony Bennett's probably got $50 million. Mm -hmm. And he just decided, I don't have to do that anymore. He, in his press conference this morning, he said but this. Why is do you think he doesn't like it? Because he has never, he's never had to deal with it in the same way. He's kind of worked and okay. operated in a different way than yeah. many of his okay, peers. Okay, here's what he would tell you. He would say, I ran this basketball program by identifying people that fit our culture, bringing them to Virginia, sometimes redshirting them, often sitting them on the bench as true freshmen, developing them, developing them behind the scenes, and then turning them into whatever they become and building real college basketball teams. You can't do that anymore. He's lost 11 transfers in the past few years. I think that took a toll on him because he didn't used to lose, lose, lose transfers. 
He actually said Memphis trashed them last year. Oh, they, they, and they Memphis wasn't BTA. good. Yeah, they BTA. He last he year. actually um, has said this publicly before he announced this retirement, like a year ago, he made this point, which sort of, you know, you could see the signs of this is where this was headed. He said at one point over the past year or so, he text messaged like a lot of his former players who were in the NBA, like in a, in a group text or, or maybe it was individual. But either way, he reached out to him and he said, hey, I want to just ask you guys some honest questions. If you could have transferred without penalty, like you could have gone, you didn't have to sit out. Would you have left? And he said, Every, to a man, every one of them said it would have been the worst thing I ever did because going through that and developing in that way and fighting through adver- that was that, it was the best thing for me. But if I would have had a chance to leave, I would have. Yeah. So, this, so he, he says that. you can't do – you can't – the way I run a program is not – I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't develop somebody on my bench because he wants to play and he knows he can transfer and play immediately somewhere else. It's just the whole thing's been flipped over, and he was just like this is not – an enjoyable, I don't enjoy what the job requires to be successful for me to do. It's not stuff I want to do. I mean, did he enjoy averaging eight? Like, I want if I was a kid, I want to enjoy averaging 18 points a game as a team. <laughs> yeah, no, like, yeah, that's not a fun thing. No, to be no, a part be, of. be 350th <laughs> in pace. Yeah, like, I saw, I saw, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm good on that. Bro. Somebody said it is a good tweet last night. Somebody said Tony Bennett actually planned to retire after last season, but he's <laughs> 351st in pace in tempo. <laughs> so, so, he he walked just, so he's just now getting getting around to it. There's a little bit of that. Yeah, I would have been good on um, that, bro. But he just and I, you're gonna. I, I could give you five other power conference coaches who have told me, we'll see if they follow through, but they're like, GP, I'm out. I'm, 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 I got, I, there's one coach who told me I've got a good team this year. They're great kids, great parents. And, but once they're gone and they're gone after this year, I'm walking out with them. I don't want to have to do this anymore. Lots, lots of coaches. They, now, I've actually heard that from high school coaches. I'm not kidding. Yeah. It's, they can't hold on to their players. Dude, I got a seven-year-old baseball team. Can't hold on to your players. Do you think we'll ever see him on the sideline again? Maybe. I mean, 55 is – I know everybody thinks – like, I'm not – Do you I'm, think Jay Wright will ever be on the sideline again? I don't think Jay Wright will ever be. He seems very comfortable with his life now. And I, Tony Bennett's a good-looking guy. He could do TV. He, Tony could do TV. Tony could do whatever he wants. I mean, I, if you're ugly, you can do TV. Too. Yeah, I mean, the, obviously. The, <laughs> <laughs> but he is he is a handsome man yeah, right. who oh, actually boy. would translate well he, to television. He looks the way you're <laughs> yes. supposed to look on TV. Yeah, right. I just talk the way you're supposed to talk on TV. I don't look the way you're supposed to so look people, on TV. People right. watch it with their eyes closed? Yeah, yeah. please. I would, I would encourage that. Um, he can do whatever he wants. Um, I, I guess the way I would answer that question. At 50, just because you think at 55, I'm burned out and I never want to do this again, doesn't mean you'll actually never want to do this again. What if regulations come in and everything stabilizes and it's more professionalized, but there's just, it's not as wild as it is right now. And, you know, after five years of nonstop vacations and all the family time you can get, somebody approaches him and just says, hey, like, why don't you come try to do it again under these circumstances? It ain't like it was when you walked away. I could see that, sure.